Hey everyone, it's 211459 and let's be real for a second. A lot of us are stuck in a financial rut without even knowing why. We work hard, pay our bills, but somehow that dream of financial freedom feels perpetually out of reach. The truth is it's often the small, seemingly insignificant habits that are holding us back. In this video, we're diving deep into 10 common habits that could be secretly sabotaging your finances, and more importantly, I'm going to show you exactly how to break free. Are you ready to ditch the bad habits and transform your finances? Let's do this. Before we jump into the 10 habits, we need to understand why habits in general are so powerful. Think about it, brushing your teeth, grabbing coffee on your way to work, these are actions you do automatically, without even thinking, right? That's the power of habit. Now when it comes to your finances, habits can either make you or break you. Good financial habits like consistently saving and investing can set you up for long-term success. But here's the catch, bad financial habits can be just as ingrained and they can quietly chip away at your financial well-being without you even realizing it. The good news is, once you're aware of these negative habits, you can start to change them. Remember, knowledge is power, and understanding the impact of your financial habits is the first step to taking control of your money and your future. Let's face it, we live in a society that glorifies spending. Everywhere you look, advertisements and social media are constantly pushing the latest and greatest products. Everywhere you turn, there's a new gadget to buy a must-have device that promises to make your life easier or more enjoyable, a fancy vacation to take, an exotic destination that everyone seems to be visiting and posting about, or the latest fashion trend to keep up with. The pressure to stay trendy and updated can be overwhelming. It's easy to fall into the trap of wanting it all and wanting it now. The allure of instant gratification can be hard to resist. But here's the harsh reality. Living beyond your means is a surefire way to find yourself drowning in debt. The stress and anxiety that come with financial instability can be crippling. The problem is, when you're constantly spending more than you earn, you're essentially borrowing from your future self. This creates a cycle of debt that can be difficult to break. So, how do you break free from this vicious cycle? It starts with a simple but powerful concept, budgeting. Budgeting helps you take control of your finances. I know, I know, budgeting gets a bad rap for being restrictive and boring, but it doesn't have to be that way. But trust me, it's not about depriving yourself. It's about making mindful decisions that align with your values and long-term goals. It's about making conscious choices about your spending and aligning it with your financial goals. This way, you can enjoy life without the constant worry of financial strain. Budgeting gives you a roadmap to get there. It provides a clear path to financial freedom and peace of mind, allowing you to live comfortably within your means. Look, I get it. Budgeting isn't exactly the most glamorous topic. But here's the thing. Budgeting is the foundation of everything else. Think of it like this. You wouldn't build a house without a blueprint, right? Well, your budget is your financial blueprint. It helps you see where your money is going and make sure you're on track to reach your financial goals. Now, creating a budget doesn't have to be complicated. There are tons of apps and tools out there that can make it super simple. But even a basic spreadsheet can do the trick. The key is to be honest with yourself about your income and expenses. Once you have a clear picture of your cash flow, you can start setting realistic financial goals and making adjustments to your spending habits. Remember, it's all about making conscious choices and taking control of your money. Impulse buying. The silent wealth killer. We've all been there, scrolling through social media and bam! That targeted ad for the latest tech gadget or trendy clothing item pops up. Before you know it, you're clicking add to cart, convincing yourself you absolutely need it. That, my friends, is the power of impulse buying, and it's a dangerous game. Those seemingly small, spur-of-the-moment purchases can add up and wreak havoc on your finances over time. So, how do you resist the siren song of impulse buying? One effective strategy is to implement a cooling off period. When you're tempted to make an unplanned purchase, give yourself 24 hours or even a week to think it over. Chances are, after the initial excitement wears off, you'll realize you didn't really need it in the first place. Your emergency fund, your financial safety net. Life is unpredictable. No matter how well you plan, unexpected expenses can pop up out of nowhere throwing a wrench in your financial plans. These unexpected costs can range from minor inconveniences to major financial setbacks. Your car could break down, you could lose your job, or you could face an unexpected medical bill. These scenarios can create significant financial strain if you're not prepared. That's where an emergency fund comes in. Think of it as your financial safety net, there to catch you when life throws you a curveball. It's a dedicated pool of money set aside specifically for those unforeseen circumstances. Having a healthy emergency fund can mean the difference between weathering a financial storm comfortably and going into debt. It provides a cushion that can help you avoid high interest loans or credit card debt. The golden rule of thumb is to have three to six months worth of living expenses saved up in a readily accessible account. 
This ensures that you have enough to cover your basic needs without having to dip into other savings or investments. Start by setting aside a small amount each month, even if it's just $50 or $100. The key is to make it a consistent habit. As you get used to living on a little less, you can gradually increase that amount. Over time, these small contributions will add up, building a substantial safety net. Treat it like any other essential bill and make it a priority in your budget. By doing so, you'll ensure that you're always prepared for whatever life throws your way. Remember, an emergency fund is not just a financial tool, it's peace of mind. Credit cards friend or foe? Credit cards. They can be a convenient tool for managing your finances, offering perks like cashback rewards, travel points, and even building your credit score. But here's the catch. They can also be a slippery slope to debt if not used responsibly. Think of credit cards like a chainsaw. In the right hands they can be incredibly useful, helping you clear a forest or build a house. But in the wrong hands, they can be dangerous, leading to serious injury. The key to using credit cards responsibly is to treat them like debit cards. Only spend what you can afford to pay back in full each month. Don't fall into the trap of only making the minimum payment. If you're already struggling with credit card debt, don't panic. Create a plan to pay down your balances as quickly as possible, starting with the card with the highest interest rate. Consider consolidating your debt or transferring your balance to a card with a lower interest rate. Seek advice from a financial advisor if needed. Remember, credit cards are a tool, and like any tool, they require knowledge and discipline to use effectively. With the right approach, you can harness their benefits without falling into the debt trap. Investing. It can seem intimidating, especially if you're not familiar with the ins and outs of the stock market or real estate. But here's the thing. Investing is one of the most powerful tools you have to build wealth over time. When you invest your money, you're essentially putting it to work for you. Instead of letting your hard-earned cash sit idly in a savings account, you're giving it the opportunity to grow and multiply. I'm talking about long-term, consistent investing in a diversified portfolio of assets like stocks, bonds, and real estate. The key is to start early and take advantage of the power of compound growth. The earlier you start investing, even if it's just a small amount, the more time your money has to compound and grow. Financial education, your secret weapon to success. In a world saturated with information, it's easy to feel overwhelmed and unsure of where to turn for reliable financial advice. But here's the thing, financial education is not a one-time event, it's a lifelong journey. Think of it like learning a new language or developing a new skill. It takes time, effort, and a willingness to constantly learn and adapt. The good news is, there are more resources available than ever before. From books and podcasts to online courses and financial blogs, the information is out there. Financial literacy is a superpower that can empower you to make informed decisions about your money and your future. Stop procrastinating. Your future self will thank you. We've all been there putting off tasks until the last minute, whether it's tackling a work project, making that doctor's appointment, or dealing with our finances. Procrastination is a universal struggle, but when it comes to our money, it can have serious consequences. Delaying financial decisions like creating a budget, saving for retirement, or investing for the future can cost you dearly in the long run. The longer you wait, the less time your money has to grow, and the harder it will be to reach your financial goals. So, how do you break free from the procrastination trap? Start by setting small, achievable goals. Instead of overwhelming yourself with trying to overhaul your entire financial life overnight, focus on taking one step at a time. Break down larger tasks, like creating a budget, into smaller, more manageable steps. Keeping up with the Joneses, the comparison trap. In the age of social media, it's easier than ever to fall into the comparison trap. We're constantly bombarded with images of people living seemingly perfect lives with their fancy cars, exotic vacations, and designer clothes. It's easy to feel like we're not measuring up, leading to feelings of inadequacy and envy. But here's the thing. Social media is often a highlight reel, not real life. Trying to keep up with the Joneses is a recipe for financial disaster. Instead of comparing yourself to others, focus on your own financial journey. Set realistic goals that align with your values and priorities, and celebrate your own progress along the way. Remember, financial success is not a one-size-fits-all approach. Break the cycle. Your journey to financial freedom starts now. So there you have it, the 10 habits that could be secretly sabotaging your finances. The good news is, by identifying these habits and taking steps to change them, you can break free from the cycle of financial struggle and start building a brighter future for yourself. There will be bumps along the road, but by adopting positive financial habits and making conscious choices about your money, you can achieve your goals and live a life of abundance. Now I want to hear from you. What habits have you identified and changed in your financial journey? Share your experiences and tips in the comments below. 